Welcome to the Deep Island Bible Church Singles Channel. I admit it's been quite some time since I came around this corner. And we are a channel that is oriented towards helping singles. Our aim here is to help young Christians who are trying to get married the God's way to offer you advice about how to know the will of God in marriage, how to be sure that you're with the right person, how to have a healthy relationship, how to court efficiently, and eventually how to have a successful and enjoyable marriage for whatever number of years the Lord would want you to live on the on this part of the earth it's always a saying that you live longer with your partner uh, if either of you don't pass away we welcome you to the deep Power bible church singles uh, we are a group a page and this on facebook we have a page we have a group called the deep Power bible church singles as well as on Instagram. If you have not joined us on any of this channel, do well to follow us on Instagram at DLBC Singles. We have questions coming in. We have mentors. We have um, leaders. We have pastors. We have um, um, marriage counselors and a whole lot of people who are there proffering and providing answers to all your questions. It's our desire that eventually many of you on this that are listening to me and those who have joined the group are able to find their own partner and marry in the Lord. That's our prayer for you. That's my prayer for you, that you do not miss it in the area of marriage. As always, my name is Princess, Mrs. Princess. If you're a new subscriber, Hi, you are very, very welcome into the family. We are happy to have you and we hope that you will do well to continue in this community and you will always come back again to uh, join in the conversations that we're having, to share your comments, your experience and your advice. Whatever it is that you would want us to, to share, it's all welcome. We'll jump right into the topic of today's discussion or video, reasons why you should not get married. Some reasons why you should not get married. I'm going to be looking at my notebook here and you'll agree with me that um, after you have given your heart to Jesus. We're a group of Christians, so we'll be talking from a Christian perspective. As Christians, one of the best things that you can do to yourself or for yourself, the best decision that you can make in life is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. That's one major decision that every Christian has to do. If you've not done that yet, it's, not, it's never too late. There's still room at the cross for you. Give your heart to Jesus. And if you have already another decision that you must not toil with, that you must not joke with, is the choice of partner. The choice of who you are going to get married to. It's very, very, very important that you marry right. Because your future happiness, your future plans, your purpose in life might even get thwarted if you miss it in the area of marriage. It's a, it's, a, it's a crossroad for many young people. They come to this point where they wonder, is it him, is it him? Is it A, is it B? Is it Timothy, is it Silas? And that's why we always point you to the Bible. We point you to God. We ask you and encourage you to take her to the Lord in prayer. Tell God about it. Ask God for leading. Because when you get, you, you, you allow yourself to be led by God, you definitely will not make a mistake. You will not make a mistake. Number one reason is, for some people they say, I'm getting old. 
<laughs> I am getting old. I need to get married because I am getting old. And that's the answer that so many people who are above 30 and maybe almost getting to 30, above 30, getting to 40. And if they are both 40, then that's then in a state of panic and they feel as a lady that their clock, biological clock is ticking and that maybe they wouldn't find somebody or will not be will have difficulty having children. It's a concern and it is actually a legitimate concern. When you're getting older, yes, biology tells us that when you get older as a woman, that it becomes a little bit difficult to bear children. That's understandable. But with God, the Bible says, with God, all things are possible. As long as you're in the center of God's will, all things are possible. God can fix anything and everything. Delay is not denial. The Samuel that came very late in Anna's life, was a very mighty instrument in the hands of God. You see, what a great child he was. Just to tell you that no matter how long Anna waited, God had somebody that he was going to use. That he gave her. He used that boy, that child. So you do not know why you have this delay in marriage yet now. Don't worry. Put your trust in God. Believe him that he's going to turn your situation around. He's going to turn that seemingly impossible situation into a glorious one. Number two, people say one reason they get married because you have shown them so much love and they begin to feel indebted to you. And it seems as though both of you are in love, but not necessarily. You might not really be both in love and not know and think that it's just so mutual. And that's the reason why you should be very careful that you do not anchor the whole um, essence on your marriage on just, we just fell in, we just fell in love. As Christians now, you need to hear from God. I just fell in love, I didn't pray about it. I don't know what God is saying. I don't know how God is leading me. I just fell in love and that's it. That might be risky, okay? I'm not saying that it does not work for people, People's cases are different. So I'm just basing this um, point on what I think is the ideal for a Christian uh, based on what the Bible tells us. The Bible says that we should, um, that the Lord will guide us in the way that, that we would go, you know, that he will lead us, that he will hear a voice behind you saying, go. So you want to wait for God's directions for God's directive, for God's voice, for God's leading, okay? And some people will even coerce their partner into um, agreeing and sometimes they will try to make their partner feel that they will be lost if they don't like marry them. Uh, my life is anchored around you. I don't know what I'll do if you don't agree. Uh, I think that my, my our life would be better off together. And maybe that person doesn't feel that way. Another thing is, some people think it's just the right thing to do. Um, they just feel, okay, we're just right together. And it's just the next thing. That's the next stage in our relationship. We've related together for this number of years. We've known each other for this number of years. We've talked about our dreams. We've talked about our plans. We we're almost um, always finding ourselves at every corner that we turn. Maybe I turn to this city and I find him. Coincidentally, I go to this school and I find her. Coincidentally, I, I start going to this church and I all of a sudden just find her. She's always everywhere. I go. And that coincidence, people think that's enough to say that that there is some kind of divine intervention. Coincidences might not always be divine intervention, and that's the reason why you should be very careful with just uh, jumping to conclusion that whatever seems right is right. Okay. Um, another thing is for some people, um, maybe their parents are urging them or encouraging them to to get married to one another uh, that's what i call rng <laughs> arranged marriages and this happens a lot in um 
in the eastern parts of Africa and in a little bit in the Middle East. There's a lot of um, marriage that is done at the at the family level. That means fathers, for whatever reasons, business partners, they feel that their business partners want to solidify uh, their relationship or their marriage or their, or their um, career or whatever it is that they're doing together, their friendship, you know, to cement it that the, the daughter or the son should marry either daughter or son, okay? So the man thinks he has a daughter and promises his daughter, if I have a, ever have a daughter, my daughter will marry his son. And so they do it like an agreement can be like a pact, a covenant, a promise, whatever it is, you know, like an arranged marriage between parents. And some people think because our parents had already arranged it a long time ago and everybody knew that, excuse me, the both of us are meant for each other because we've been uh, betrothed to each other from our childhood or even before we were born, then there's nothing else we can do about it. We need to get married. No, that's not a good reason to get married because either of you or both of you, you know, both of you might not be destined to be together. The plans, the Bible says, God said, the plans that I have or the thoughts that I have for you are thoughts of good and not able to give you an expected end. And he also says that the thought that I have for you, you know, that the plans of God are far beyond our expectation. There's a, there's, there's a way it says, there's this passage of the scripture. It just tells us that God has um, bigger thoughts than we think, than anybody, than any individual can think for us. God has great and sometimes far different plans than what we even think should be. God knows tomorrow. You know, God knows what we do not know about. God knew that even though Abraham and Lot were going out together, that they were not going to end up together. They went together. God let them go. God didn't stop them. But at some point, God let Abraham know that. Let Allow Lot to go. Just let him go. When, Abra when Lot was being carried out of Sodom and Gomorrah, Abraham could have told this, the angels to bring Lot back to him. But he didn't do that. Because it was obvious that at that point in their lives, at the, at the point where they went their separate ways, that it was time for them to part ways. So the fact that you both are friends and that you grew up together and that your parents are friends, a point in time will come. And when you see the signs that you need to go your, se your separate ways, don't hold on to those strings. Don't hold on to, to, to those chains in quotes. I call them chains. Don't hold on to those things that are going to twat and hinder you from seeing God's perfect plan and will for your life. Please do well to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your loved ones, with as many people as you know, so that they can also benefit from these facts about who you should not get married to, why, reasons why you should not get married. God bless you. Until next time. Again, this was Princess from the Palabra Bush Church Singles. Goodbye.